Johnson, free favourite at home. Gary, you talked a lot about a lack of sharpness after the Altrincham game. How much can you have worked on that during the week to, to put that right? Well, it's more mentally than, than physically, because um, obviously that's where your thoughts start in your head. And I just felt we was our game was too slow. It wasn't entertaining. It wasn't um, quick enough to open them up as much as I would have liked. I mean, to be fair, we opened them up a few times where we had two, three, four one-on-ones with a goalkeeper. Uh, I remember Wright, he had him two, and uh, Bartz had him one. And I think somebody else had one. But uh, So, as far as the stats were concerned, we should have won the game. Um, but as it turned out, we it always looked a little bit... For me, I, I used the word slovenly, frustrated, and that's what it was. And uh, So, we can only you know, appeal to the boys, show them the video, see what they thought and they thought the same, that it was a bit frustrating. Um, but every now and again you're going to lose a game. It's For me the disappointment is not losing the game, it's it's losing a game that takes ages to get to the place, i.e. motorway travel. It's more for the supporters that have travelled and the directors were right behind me and their wives and, and they, the supporters and the directors and their wives, they want to come and enjoy the game, I want to go all that way and watch my team perform, they want to watch their team perform and, and I think that's where the bigger disappointment comes because you want to do it for those people that have made a big journey um, and, uh, and come to watch us and we haven't performed so I feel as though you, you take it a little bit personal and you feel you've let them down a little bit so we sort of owe them one. Obviously looking for a reaction then, when do you get that reaction? Is it in training or is it this Saturday against Dover? Um, we def- we all want- well, we don't know yet, do we? You know, Hopefully when you're talking to me next Thursday, we're, we're, we're a few more points uh, ahead and you- we're talking about you know, we've recovered from the Altrincham game. That's what we're hoping. But um, everything's you know, in hindsight and all I can say is that we- we've got a group of lads that are honest in, in their opinions of themselves. And uh, I do give them a voice if they feel that anything I've said, they feel differently. Um, that's important. Um, but, you know, that doesn't often happen because I'll only say things if I'm uh, 99.9% sure that uh, I'm saying something that's right. Um, and so we always go into the next game um, having agreed with the last performance, whether it was good or bad, and what we've got to do for the next one. And uh, that's the group we got. And I keep saying I trust this group, and uh, um, and, I, and I trust them to, to pick it up and get it going at some stage. They've already had a good run of three wins on the trot, so we need to do that as quickly as we can again. And that honesty in the group that you talk about, how important is that in terms of them not getting carried away when there's three wins on the bounce and not getting two, to, two down when there's a loss? Yeah, I think the character of the team will be we could win ten on the trot and then if we lose the 11th, they're going to be disappointed um, because that's the way they are and that's the sort of group that we've got in. Um, we, we've got to be careful that we don't underestimate some of the teams that people might underestimate because... You know they've all got they've all got players that can do something within 90 minutes, and uh, you know, some train one day less, two days less than what we do. Um, but uh, generally, some most of the teams have got a strength, but they've also all got a weakness, as we have, which is why we're at this level, um, and we need to alleviate that those weaknesses and and make sure that we enhance our our strengths and that's what we're, we're trying to do and um, I'm confident that we'll we'll be there or thereabouts and now I've seen sort of like eight games uh, seven teams you know I think that uh, we've played Wrexham it'd be interesting to play the teams that are up there now Forest Green have obviously had a fantastic start um, Eastleys uh, Grimsby you know, they're not quite up there yet but they will be um, so we'll you know we'll we'll wait and see when those 
those big ones comes around. But until those big ones come around, we've got to make sure we're picking up wins. And Dover might be one of those unfashionable, unfancied clubs, but yeah. you look at the table, they're just below you, they've had a decent start. They've had a very good start. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a team uh, that picked up results uh, at home, especially not so many away from home, but they're very solid. Uh, they're a solid team, and uh, it's uh, it's one of them games where you're going to have to be a little bit patient sometimes because you know they've got a system that um, makes them difficult to break down. And if you can break them down early, then that'd be good. Um, but if uh, it has to be later on in the game, then that's what has to happen. But we, we, you've got to try and work on all the things that break teams down, and we've certainly got to move the ball a lot quicker than we did at Altrincham. I think I saw some stats that they've had the most shots of any team at this level and also committed the most fouls. Does that mean from that we can take that they're a very hard-working side? They're a very hard-working side and a lot of their play, they're very good, similar to us, on set plays. You know, they've got a big, big team, uncompromising team. They've got a few little uh, jinky, clever players. Um, so they're, they're up there on merit. They're not up there on luck. They're up there on merit. And I've watched a game or two of theirs and... Uh, it will be a, a very good win if we can get the win. Jordan Winter has gone out to Farnborough this week. Um, I mean, presumably that's just part of his continuing rehab. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we're grateful to Farnborough that they've taken him early, a lot earlier than most teams would take him because he'd only had a, a week's training with us um, and, and not played a game since he was injured. So, um, you know, we, we've allowed them to take him because they've sort of taken a bit of a chance um, give him a, obviously if he gets in their team then great and evidently the report was that he played well for the hour I asked them to play uh, him for no more than an hour if they wouldn't mind for the first game um, and that's great for Jordan because you know he spoke to his representatives they knew that it was a great opportunity he's ready to play games but he's probably not game fit so it's better that if there's someone willing to give him games, then that will get him his fitness. And uh, yeah, that worked for everybody. And everyone else okay? Um, yeah, everybody else is okay. We had a couple of little niggly things in the week, but um, you know, everybody uh, has come through that okay. Yeah, there's only, uh, I think the physio's got uh, Elliot Richards at the moment. Although Elliot has been training with us periodically and he's... Every day you can see an improvement in him. It'll still be a little while yet, but um, it's great that he's able to join in with the lads every so often. I'm sure you won't go public on the time scale on Elliot, but is that being sort of sped up a little bit with the progress he's making? Uh, I don't know. You, I don't want to put him under pressure, um, and uh, we certainly don't want to put the physios under pressure because it's something that the body's got to adjust to all the... Um, uh, chemicals and radiation that's gone through him, all that sort of stuff. And uh, But it's nice to see a smile on his face. He, he's enjoying training and um, you know, let's hope that it's sooner rather than later. But as, it's, as you say, there's no time scale on it. It's just when he feels right that he, you know, to really push it, then we'll help him. Thank you.